Hey Felicia, I was wondering if you had a quick second to talk about something really quick. Oh, well, hey there, Tiffany. It isn't often that I hear from you. What's up? What did you want to talk about? Well, I had a little favor that I wanted to ask of you. Oh, really? Well, sure, if it's something that I can do for you. I know that it might seem like a big to ask, but I know that you can do this for me if you try. Well, what is it? I can't know until you tell me what it is. Well, the thing is that I want to go back to work starting from today. Oh, really? But I thought that you had just given birth like two months ago. Yes, I did. But now my work is saying that they really need me back and that there are things that can't move forward without me being there. So I really need to get back to work. Oh, I understand. That sounds really tough on you, though. I'm sorry to hear that. It's tough, yeah. The whole situation is kind of a mess. But anyways, that's why I've left my baby on your front step so you can watch her for me while I work. Wait, what? What do you mean by that? Anyways, thanks so much for taking care of the little one. Bye. Wait, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> Tiffany! I can't believe you really just dropped off your baby at my house! I know, it's crazy, right? Anyways, thanks so much for taking her in. I'll let you know when I want her back. We aren't going to be taking your baby in our house. I know it's sudden, but I'm already on the subway headed to work and I'm going to be quite busy for a while. Well, what about Theo? It's his kid too! And I'm sure he wouldn't be happy knowing that you handed off your baby to his sister with no experience in child rearing. Oh, don't you worry about Theo. He's in a different country on a business trip. I know that! But that makes it even worse that you would do something like this. Look, this is only going to be a few months at the most, okay? I'm just really busy at work right now, but if I buckle down, there's a chance that I could get promoted. So please, just leave me alone until I reach you out again, okay? I'm glad that you're so eager to get back to work, but I can't just raise your two-month-old baby for... for that long. Well, how do you even know that you can't if you haven't even given a try, huh? Are you serious right now? You know that both my parents are dead and that I don't have a family who I can ask for help with this. Besides, I'm not even married and I've never had to take care of a baby before. I can't do this! Ugh, you're really persistent, do you know that? Anyways, I already told you that I'm going back to work as of today and you're really not helping my mood. Well, I also have work to do, you know. What are you talking about? I thought that you were unemployed. Why would you think that? Look, I have to get to work. I don't have time for this. See you. Ah, uh, Tiffany! Come back here right now! <coughs> Tiffany, are you there? <coughs> Tiffany, it's been three whole days. I tried reaching you yesterday and the day before that, and you've been ignoring my calls. When are you going to come and pick up your kid? I already told you that I live alone and don't have anyone to help me with this. You mean it's already been three days? Well, it seems that you're a natural at raising kids then. That isn't what this means, Tiffany. You can't leave a baby on someone's doorstep and expect them just to take care of it. Oh, please, it's only been a few days. Don't be such a drama queen. Ah, <sighs> are you kidding me right now? Anyways, you got this. Just keep doing what you've been doing. Tiffany, you're not going to just disappear again, are you? <coughs> hey, Felicia. I see that you've been trying to get a hold of me recently. Sorry that I'm just getting back to you now. Work has been crazy and I've just been totally ignoring my phone to stay focused. I just caught a small break and thought to check my phone now, so I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Theo! Thank goodness you're getting back to me. What do you mean? Is everything okay? 
Well, I know that you're out of the country on business, but I really needed to get a hold of you. So something did happen. I was reading through some of your messages and they just seem way more panicked and desperate than the types of things that you usually send me. Theo, I'm just curious, have you heard anything from Tiffany at all? Because I'm still holding on to your kid. Wait, what? What do you mean by that? I mean that I've called Tiffany and asked her to come and pick her up, but she won't answer the phone. I've even tried going to your place, but there was no one there. She's totally ignoring and maybe even hiding from me. But I've been watching your kid by myself for the past month. Wait a second, you've had my daughter for the past month? That's right. Although, I was talking with a neighbor the other day, and they thought I should go to Child Protective Services. I really was thinking about doing something like that until you just got back to me now. Uh, hold on a second, I'm, I'm really confused here. I heard from Tiffany that she had a friend who ran a daycare, and that she was dropping off our kid with them for the time being. Did she really tell you that? Yeah, she said she had some connection who could watch the baby and that a space opened up and she was able to get her in. I thought that that's what's been going on here. She said she was going to leave her at the daycare while she was at work and then pick her up at night. I don't believe it. I mean, I left Tiffany $2,000 because she said it would be enough to cover the daycare expenses. But now you're telling me that you have our baby? That's right. And I've had her the past month. Tiffany just left her at my house, and I certainly haven't been paid for any of the babysitting that I'm doing. What the heck is going on here? That's what I'm trying to figure out, Theo. Felicia, I'm really sorry to ask, but do you think you can hold on for just a couple more days? What are you going to do? Well, I have to go back home and deal with all of this, don't I? But what about your work? I'm sure my boss would understand that I can't just leave things as they are right now. Besides, you're one of my company's top illustrators, so if something is happening that's going to be impeding your work, I'm sure my company will want it taken care of. I see. You're probably right about that. Okay then, I'll try and hold on for a little longer. I am so, so sorry that all of this has happened. But please just hold on for a little while more. It's okay, Theo. Just hurry back and be safe. Hey, Felicia. I just got a call from my mom saying that she had my daughter. Is that true? It's barely even a month and you're already giving up? You're an unemployed old maid. Why can't you do something for a working mother trying to get back in the office? I am going to raise Rose from now on, Tiffany. Excuse me? And just who do you think you are? You can't just claim my baby like that after a month. It's not Felicia, it's Theo. Wait, Theo? That's right, and I know all about how for the past month, you've just abandoned our child with my sister so that she could take care of her. I'm going to text you from my phone now. What's going on here, Theo? I thought you were going to be away for at least a couple of months. That was the plan until I got messages from my sister explaining everything that had happened. I just got back home yesterday after talking to my work about all of this. So, do you have anything to say for yourself about what's happening? I just don't get the big deal. Felicia doesn't even work. Why can't just babysit for a while? What are you talking about? Of course Felicia works. Wait, really? She does? Yes. And she's a very important illustrator that my company hires, so we need her free to work. But I had no idea. Well, now it appears that your little stunt has gotten in the way of her working. When I told my boss what was happening, she personally signed off on sending me home straight away to deal with this. I seriously can't believe this has been happening for the past month. I don't know what to say. Well, after I got home yesterday... I called your mom, explained to her what was happening, and asked her to come and pick me up. Then we stopped by Felicia's to pick up our daughter and bring her to your parents' place. So you were the one that told my mom what was going on? That's right. And then I went back to our apartment and no one was there. 
Just where are you right now? What do you mean? I've been staying at home this whole time. Well, this whole place is covered in dust. I don't think that anyone has been living here since I left for my business trip. Wait, what are you trying to say? I mean that I want to know why, when I called your work to ask about you, did they say that you were still on maternity leave? You've even called my work? Of course I did, Tiffany. What happened to the $2,000 I gave you for the daycare? Well, I... I don't know. Well, I'm pretty sure I have a good idea. What do you mean by that? I bet that you spent it all to go on a little vacation with some guy that you're having an affair with. An affair? Don't be ridiculous. Of course I'm not cheating on you. Well, one of our neighbors told me that during the times when I've been away, the same strange man has been coming over. He even had pictures to show me of this guy. You have to be kidding me. Well, I have to say that I was just shocked to see that the man coming over was none other than my childhood friend Cameron. No, you don't understand. This is all just a big misunderstanding. Well, anyways, I called his family and explained to them about all of this, and now they're on their way to his place now. What? Right now? I imagine that they'll arrive any minute now. Please, you don't understand. You're making a mistake. Save your excuses for someone who cares, Tiffany. You abandoned our two-month-old child with my sister who lives alone and has no experience taking care of a baby. And for what? So you can go and cheat on your husband? Well, I never want to see you again, but I am going to be taking Rose with me. But what about your business trips and those kinds of things? I thought I told you to can it. You are never going to see our daughter again. I think I should get something out of the way here. Rose is most definitely my brother, Theo's baby. After this whole fiasco, he had a DNA test done to confirm it and was relieved to know that the baby was his. It almost made the fight for custody much easier. Both Tiffany and Cameron were sued for their affair and Theo's job agreed to stop sending him on business trips for the time being. For now, he's waiting for a vacancy to actually appear at legitimate daycare. In the meantime, however, he's learning to be a single father and doing his best to watch over his daughter. I've been able to focus on my work again, thankfully, and things have mostly returned to normal. Although, now that my brother is taking care of Rose all by himself, I make sure to visit him often to see if he needs any help and give him any pointers that I picked up over my month taking care of her. I might not be the greatest mom, but I would like to be a really good aunt. As for Tiffany, she was required to pay child support on top of the lawsuit money. Rumors about her began to make their way around her office, and the shame caused her to make several mistakes at work, and I hear her next quarterly review is not going to go so well. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.